a lot of credit. You know, they got some big time playmakers. Um, you know, those guys made a lot of big plays today. You know, you look at it. So a lot of people wouldn't think coming into this game that coming out of it, Mississippi State would have more yards. Um, but they found a way to get more points. And, um, you know, like we said, coming into it, they do a great job of improvising. They get a lot of yards outside of the framework of their offense. Uh, they did that again tonight. Um, you know, and they, they made a couple more big plays than we did. We had a couple, you know, I mean, obviously giving up a point right before halftime is a huge momentum killer. It's, it's, it's probably cost us a couple wins this year. Points before halftime, the two drives right before the half. It's got a, probably a huge aspect on the season for us. Um, was huge, the big kickoff return, and, you know, some of the special team errors, just some. Uh, that last kickoff return, I mean, we had a couple of missed tackles on it. It looked like we had guys in position to make the play. They just give them credit. They, they, they made the play. We did. And, uh, you know, block, block hunt. We had an MA. That went the wrong way. Can't have that happen in critical moments. So, uh, you know, then we gave up a long pass on, on blown coverage. Uh, you know, those things. It, a lot of little mistakes. We just, you know, I mean, for us, I, 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 I'm proud of the way our kids fight. There's nothing good about losing the game, so not, you know, no moral anything to be lost. But I'm proud of the way our kids battled for four quarters uh, and continue to battle back and continue to fight and continue to believe. And, uh, you know, we're going to need that down the stretch. We're gonna have a, we got a bunch of tough games still ahead of us. And we got to play. Followed the plan pretty good. You don't want to. So today, in, in some ways, and didn't you know, just talk under his circumstances, the job that Chris Scott did. Yeah, you know, I, that, that's where he's most comfortable. I know, I know, uh, you know, I mean, that's, his mom was a huge football fan, loved it. I'm sure she was upset he even missed a practice or two practices this week. But, uh, you know, obviously to go through what he had to go through, come out and perform, you know, I mean, I'm just proud of him. I, I, Dak's an amazing young man uh, beyond just being a, a football player. Uh, you know, he's, he's an amazing young man and uh, a man that uh, most parents would be proud of their kids grew up that way. Yeah, I mean, you said like beyond football, just seeing him out there and seeing him getting up after every, every time, it seemed like there was there was more than just him today. Did you see that as well? Well, yeah, you know, you knew that coming in. I know his a lot of family came out here to support him for this game. You know, I think this is, you know, he's going to have to go through a lot of tough things right now. You know, another one, obviously, what he had to go through this week, but he's also going to walk out of the locker room tonight. It's not going to be there. You know, that's going to be another one. Um, so uh, there's a lot of a lot of that tough. That's really tough for him. Uh, but you know what? I, I, we're here for him. He's got a very supportive family. He has a great family at home. Uh, he has a great family here. What makes this emotional for you? I'm sorry. I mean, but, um, okay. What makes this emotional for you? Well, you know, I mean, it, it, we're, we're a family in our football program. You know, I mean, these kids are like sons to me. And, um, you know, when they have to go through something that bad, uh, it wears on you. You know, I mean, I never want to see our kids have to go through um, the, the personal losses like that. You know, I mean, it's, I mean we, we go out there and play a game, and we win some games and we lose some games. But you know what? When, when our kids have to go, I want our kids to be successful. Um, you know, my ultimate goal as a head coach is they come in the door and they leave much better men when they, they walk out. And, um, you know, and they, have, they have a strong set of values and they have a strong work ethic and they're prepared to become champions in life. So any, anything like this that they have to go through uh, is just really hard on all of us. You've got some big plays out of your receivers and some of them some really tough catches too. Yeah, they did. You know, they made some, some, some good catches. Uh, some tough ones. Their kids made a lot of good catches too. I was noticing that too along the way. They made some pretty good diving fingertip catches, and we just didn't make enough of them. So um, you know, you look at our plan. You know, our plan to come in. We wanted to stop the run and force them to throw the ball. We, you know, we did that. I had them 91 yards rushing. I think they were one of the top rushing teams out there. You know, and to outgain them by over 200 yards on the ground. I mean, in, in a lot of ways, we followed our plan. We just didn't put it all together. You know, made some critical errors tonight. Scoreboard says 51 points and 537 yards, Dan. But I thought your defense, I mean, they forced three turnovers. You know, got I think it was half, four, five, six, three and outs. I mean, they, they, they were doing the plan. That's what we talked about. You know, and we said, you know, when you look at Texas A&M and, and, you know, with John Menzel out there, and what he brings to the table 
which is so hard to defend, is improvising outside of the framework. And our offense, at, at times our defense, I thought we played really well, we stopped their offense, and but we didn't stop him. You know, and all of a sudden, we stop the offense and there he goes. And he starts running from sideline to sideline and twisting around and scrambling around and juking one way, juking the other way, and then all of a sudden the ball gets launched 30 yards down the field. And by that time, someone's there to catch it. And, uh, you know, so... It, is it I'll be honest, that's how I, 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 I can give you the pen. I mean, you can't, you don't defend, I mean, there's, you don't sit there and draw up a defense to defend. It. And, uh, is it so, almost like two different categories, Dan? I mean, you stop the offense and then there's him? I mean, it's. That's what it is. We knew that coming in. You know, we looked yeah. at all the offense that they have outside of the framework of their offense. You know, when, when you stop the original offense. And then it's and just then, schoolyard, and then backyard it's, football? And then it's, the free, and then he freelances, and, and their receivers do a great job staying alive, getting open. You know, I, I, it, it's part of though who they are when you watch them. You know, I mean, their kids know. You know, say, hey, let's get four to six seconds of great effort on a play. I think the kids on, you know, we knew we had to give probably ten to twelve seconds of great effort on a play. Their kids on their sideline, they're used to that. You know, they're. I think they expect the plays to be extended. So. Uh, when they are, they execute it pretty well. Is it kind of exhausting if just your defense makes some stops and then they just have a big play like that and they just have kind of back and forth throughout the game? Yeah, a bunch of them. You know, we, we get a stop and then we rough the punter um, one time. And, uh, but you know what? Our kids kept fighting. You know, I mean, that, that's a tough that's a tough outfit to hang with, you know, in four quarters. I mean, they, the, the tempo and how much they go and up and down the field that they go. Uh, you know, I'm proud of our kids. I mean, they battled. They fought for four quarters, made stops when, when we kind of needed to make some stops. Not enough of them, um, but a bunch of them. You know, I mean, it's you know, the story of the season, right? There's a lot of good things that we can take away. We did a lot of good things. We've got a young player, a lot of young guys on that team that can look and look to the future and say, hey, there's a lot of good things possibly can happen for us uh, in the future. And... Uh, as we keep moving forward, and, you know, the future is next week for us. You know, we got we got another tough game next week, but uh, a lot of things guys can build off of, and you know, a lot of things they're going to look at and say, hey, we could have done some things better, and maybe if we do, we would find a way to. Are they going to take the field position for for four half time, score a quick touchdown, 54 seconds left, but it just didn't phase when they come. Yeah, well, I mean, and that's really hurt us all season. I think you know we gave up a, 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 the two minute scores against Auburn. I think we did two in that game and cost us that game. And, Right before the half at LSU, huge momentum swing in that game, and it ends up being a, a big factor in that game. Oklahoma State, big factor in that game, giving up a quick two-minute score before half. And again today, uh, it's something, like I said, I mean, maybe that's a coaching issue. I'm going to have to really study it of what we're doing, how it's working, why that appears to be our Achilles heel. Because, you know, we go three and out right before halftime on defense. I don't know what the record's going to be at this point. You know, if we, if we make two-minute stops, you know, Maybe we have the reversal of fortune with Auburn. Maybe well, you know. Maybe we're the team right now that next we're playing Alabama. You know, to the the West title and the, and the, the national championship opportunity. Yeah, you know, but it, it's it's. I mean, it's obviously there's a lot more than that. But I think that that is something that's been a big factor for us this season. Without looking at tape, Dan, the special teams mishaps. Yeah. What's your knee jerk kind of feel on the, on those things? And, uh, well, pump block. I know the pump block issue, you know, we had a guy go the wrong way. So, you know, when they're, when they're bringing the house and somebody goes the wrong way, they, they should block the punt, get their kid credit. It was unblocked through the middle of the hole, he made it. Uh, the roughing the punter, just some bad choice. You know, their kid was rolling out to the right and, you know, they didn't call it a rollout. They called him in the, you know, because there's no roughing, he rolls out. They didn't call it a rollout, he was rolling. Our guys had a bad angle because he was rolling out to the right. And, Missing the block spot. Um, block field goal. I was about on the edge. We were going into the wind in the first half. The, the wind was there. I think we gave a little penetration. I thought it was a guy up inside. And um, we gave up a little bit of penetration with combined a little bit of a, a low kick. You know, I mean, that's low kick. You know, that was one of those. I was looking at Evan and uh, and I said, hey, you know, with, with the wind factor, we were right on the edge of it. And like he said, he said, I thought I hit a really good coach. And I think he did. And it hit the time to jump very well. Got a hand on it.
Coach, yeah, could you talk about opportunities. You guys had three trips into their end of the field in the first half, and with no points in the fourth down stop. And you mentioned the, the block kicks. It seems like in the first half, you guys had some pretty good chances that got away. Yeah, we, there's a, there are a lot of opportunities throughout the course of the game for us to make plays. And you know, when you're going to play a team on the road, you're on the road to the SEC playing on number 11 in the country. You're going to have to take advantage of every opportunity. We knew we were going to have to score a lot of points. We did. They scored more. You know, I mean, we'll look at it and. Uh, you know, what the situations were, what we could have done better. I know the first fourth down, I think our back slipped. You know, can't slip. Uh, that's my coaching point. I'm sure, I'm sure we could have locked up something better maybe up front. Uh, we'll look at it all. Uh, but, you know, I mean, those things happen in the game and you got to respond to it. Good day.